When preparing to meet with customers in a world where everybody is sensitive about something, you can't eliminate pre-planning or screening before getting together. In today's world, it's a mistake to assume that your product or your service is all your customer is concerned about. A variety of social, economic, political, and societal forces influence their buying decision. Here are some sensitivities and skills you need in order to deal with today's customer. Number one, today your customer may ask you about your company's diversity policies and practices. Can you explain them? Number two, have you been involved in litigation related to identity differences? Your customer may want to know. Number three, how successful are various demographic groups in your company and what levels have they achieved? Don't be surprised if they ask you this. Number four, more and more customers want to know where is your product made and does your company engage in fair labor practices? Number five, what kind of environmental sensitivities does your business have? Number six, who will be assigned to the team that services this customer and what identity differences do they represent? Number seven, will you remove or add staff to a project based on a customer preference or bias? You better know the answer ahead of time. When you're face to face with your customer, be aware of such issues as using the right cultural term to address people, not making stereotypic assumptions about who's in charge, micro triggers that could offend or push hot buttons. You may not be able to map your customer with 100% certainty, but before you engage with them, make sure you invest the necessary time to understand your customer's individual and corporate identities.